Hi, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Now, a quick question before we get going. Wagon wheels, the candy bar, do you have them where you are? Because I'm not sure if they're common all over the world. We have them here in Australia. Just put yes or no, you can put where you are as well if you like. Now, we're gonna make wagon wheel slices today. Wagon wheels are like a shortbread and jam and marshmallow and chocolate. They're just delicious, fun for the kids. Come on, let me show you how to make these. Let's get this wagon on the road. Now we want to start with a lovely sweet short crust base to this. So I've got two and a half cups, 375 grams of all purpose flour. I'm just going to put half a cup, that's 100 grams of white sugar in there. And I've got one cup, that's 240 grams of softened butter into the bowl. Now I like to use my hands and just rub the butter and the flour together until I get a nice sort of breadcrumb type consistency. Now once the butter, the sugar and the flour are together like that, we've got this lovely consistency. We're now going to draw this together into a cookie dough. So start to squeeze it and eventually you're going to have this nice crumbly shortbread dough. Now we can get that oven on now, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm using a square tin, it's an eight inch and I've just greased it a little bit with butter. You could use a nine inch round for this by the way, if you haven't got one. I've got some grease paper, some baking paper, and I'm just going to line the inside of this tray with that. The butter helps that stay in place. And I've left a little bit over so I can help get those wagon wheel slices out once they're baked. So next we're gonna bring our cookie dough over and I'm just going to push it out on the base. We just want to evenly set it across the bottom of this pan. Now to just get a nice even surface, I'm using a little crank handle pallet knife, but you could use your hands really. And we just want to get a nice flat surface. Now look at that buttery delicious shortbread. That's going in the oven. We'll keep an eye on it about 20 minutes or until it's a lovely golden brown. Now you look at that, that's a lovely sandy brown. I've just taken that out of the oven. Let's let it cool down for about 10 minutes before the next step. Now quickly look at this, I'm such a klutz. Look at this fresh raspberry jam. I just made that because I had no jam in the house and then I found a jar of jam. Anyway, I'm going with this fresh raspberry jam. What I'm going to do is whilst this is still a little bit warm, we've got about half a cup of jam here by the way. We're just gonna pour it on top of our biscuit or cookie. And then we want to get a nice even spread across the top. And when we've got an even coating of the raspberry jam, we've got some marshmallows here and I'm just gonna cut these in half, not over the jam. And then we're just going to lay them down, face down on top of the jam, a little bit of space between them until we've got it completely covered. Now I've covered those with the marshmallows and I've put them cut side down. Now we're gonna pop those in the oven for about five minutes, just keep an eye on them. They're gonna heat up and puff. Then we're gonna pull them out of the oven and we're gonna use either the back of a spoon or maybe a spatula and just flatten them down. So they're going straight back in the oven, same temperature as before, and I'll show you them when they come out. Now look at that, they've been in just about four minutes now and they've started to puff up. What we want to do while they're still warm, we just want to push down those marshmallows, get them as flat as possible. You won't be able to get it perfect, but we're just easing them down a little bit. So when you push them down like that, we're gonna leave that now to completely cool down. This needs to be at least an hour until it's set. Now when our wagon wheel slice has cooled down, I've got some melted chocolate, about 300 grams, that's about nine ounces of chocolate. I've just warmed it over some hot water until it's lovely and molten like that. And we're gonna crown this thing off with some lovely melted chocolate. So I'm just gonna pour that over there. And this is a dark chocolate I'm using here. And we just want to evenly spread it across the top of our marshmallows. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap that down on the counter, give it a little shake whilst the chocolate is hot to get a reasonably flat surface. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to leave that to completely cool down on the side before we serve it. Okay, come and look at the wagon wheel slice now. We've let it cool down the tray. We've got these little paper edges and I'm going to use those just to lift it, ease it out, pop it onto a cutting board like that. Perfect. And then we're going to take a serrated knife and I'm just gonna cut some slices. Come back in a moment, I'll show you what we have. So there are my wagon wheel slices, nice and stacked high. They look fantastic. I'm gonna try a little bit for you, but I'm not going for one of these because they're for later on for a party. I have a little off cut here, give it a try. That is absolutely delicious. If you've got any parties coming up, make these, the kids are gonna absolutely love them. Please share the love, give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. 
I really love the way the marshmallow is still springy in these wagon wheel slices. They are really great. I'll leave some links to some other videos up here. As always, I love to hear your comments. Be good. See you next time. Take care.